Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Cypress tutorial, let's quickly get into the real hands-on and see what are the prerequisites to get up and running with our first test case with Cypress. Okay, now before you deep dive into any of the tool, the first and foremost thing is to understand what all system requirement, the software requirement you need to have in your machine okay so as we are learning so we'll be focusing on our laptops or desktop whatever you have so we have to check what is the system requirement for installing cypress okay then the once we know that our system matches the software the hardware everything is which obviously will you you guys would i'm assuming that you won't be using such an old system that you won't be having those requirement or your system won't be meeting those requirement which cypress needs but just in case you know we need to basically go ahead and cross check that our system matches those requirements so we don't just end up in endless loop of debugging some of the errors okay now the next thing is in order to start using cypress the most important thing as we have understood about in the architecture as well you need a node js right so node js is a it's a runtime environment for javascript code okay so it's kind of a jre as you you can correlate it as a jre for java for javascript it's node that runs your javascript code so we have to install that the second step and then whatever preferable id integrated development environment the id that we want to use you want to use eclipse you want to use jetbrains aqua is another one which is basically only for the qa and then visual studio code so in this tutorial series i'll be going ahead with the visual studio code open it is basically free to use and very very powerful id so we'll be going ahead with the visual studio code but you are free to use any of the others if you're comfortable using other ids as well okay so that's the third step once we are done with this setup this is basically the system setup is complete right and once system setup is complete the next step is to do or create the first project of cypress install cypress and then go ahead and write our first test case right so this is the i'll make it as step one okay this is step one wherein we'll install all of these dependencies that we need in order to install cypress and in the step two we'll go ahead with the cypress installation process so cypress installation process is the next step which we'll cover once we are done with this okay so let's go and see the system requirements right so now we are on the cypress website okay if you simply go to the documentation right don't official documentation is the best documentation to refer you can go to the other documentation only if you need a bit more detail or something different which is not available on the official documentation but cypress documentation is very comprehensive so we'll simply go ahead to the docs and you'll see that we can simply see here a, a link installing cypress okay so we'll click on the installing cypress and this will basically lead you to this installing cypress page and let's see prior to installing cypress what are the prereqs okay so system requirement right so prerequisite step one what operating system right so mac os this version above right if you're on linux you have to make sure you are having all these things if you're on windows make sure you are seven and above 64 bit only right so this is why we need to look into it. so for say for example you don't have windows 7 and above which high is highly unlikely but then in case you don't have right then you cypress won't be working properly on your machine or it won't be even setting up right then the next thing is you need node.js okay if you're using you know npm a pnpm or yarn to install cypress which we'll be using we'll be using node package manager node npm stands for node package manager and pnpm and yarn are uh, another they are also a package manager but more sort of a there were uh, limitations in the node package manager that that are being resolved with pnpm and yam okay so if you want to correlate npm you can correlate it with the pip in python right which is uh, which we used to install any of the python packages so for node.js we use npm which is node package manager to install any of the packages so we need to have these supported versions so we have to make sure that we have node installed in our machine okay and then obviously the hardware if you are running you have to make sure that your you comply or the hardware and memory requirements are met as well right so 4 gb is minimum 8 gb plus for longer uh, test runs right so this is something which is the step one okay the second step is installing node.js right now let's quickly go ahead and install node.js so what we'll do is we'll say okay node.js download okay simply search for node.js download and it will lead you to the 
node.js website wherein node.js.org and we'll simply go ahead to the download page and here you will see that we have the windows installer and installing node.js is absolutely simple so let's quickly go ahead and depending on which machine you are on which platform you are on for example you are on mac os you have to download mac if you're on other platforms then you have to download accordingly right for example if you're on linux then you have to download the linux binaries okay I'm on Windows, so I'll simply go ahead and download the Windows installer. Simply click on it and you'll see the Windows, uh, the Node version 18 is downloading. Okay. And if you go back to the Cypress here, you'll see that Node.js 18x, 16x and 20x and above are all supported. So I'm good with that. We are downloading 18 version 18 and above, right? So which is absolutely fine. So now download is finished. If I go to the download and we simply go ahead and if i open the folder where it got downloaded so it's here and i can simply go ahead and double click to install node on my machine so you'll see node.js setup has started right i'll simply go ahead and click next read the agreements all right and then accept click on next and you'll see that it will install node.js to a specific location which is c program files node.js if you're not happy with this default location you can change this location anytime okay so you can click on this change and then change this location i'm happy with this particular location i'll simply go ahead and next and then you will see that click the icons in the tree below to change the way features will be installed right if you want to change anything here you can click and change it i'll keep it as default okay and then you'll see that we have this note package npm package manager will also be installed right which because which will be using to install any of the packages or even cypress right so you can basically see that if i click on this you will see that entire feature will be i mean unavailable if i deselect this right so that is why whatever is default just keep it as is so that we get the npm package manager installed as well so which has the node.js runtime core pack npm right and then adding to path as well so this node.js will be added to path as well okay so you can simply keep it default and click next and then here it says that you can optionally install the tools necessary to compile native modules i'll just keep it as is i won't don't want any other necessary tools i just want node.js so i'll keep it default which is unchecked i'll simply click on next and click on install okay so now it will install node.js it has popped up that i want to install allow this device allow this app yes absolutely and then it will validate and install node okay so you'll see that it has completed the node.js setup wizard it has finished it has successfully installed node.js okay i'll simply click on finish and now how we can check that node.js is installed okay so we'll simply go on the command prompt okay i'll open the command prompt and i'll say node hyphen v and you'll see the version is available so whichever version has been installed is available now because i have selected the path wherever the node was installed okay so that path has been added into the environment variables automatically now if you're on linux or mac os you can simply google how to add the path by default in the installation wizard you will get that option how to add path but in case you are not able to see the node version in the terminal and installation is successful you can add the location of the binaries in the environment variable and then you will be able to see the node version that it has been installed now on windows say for example you want to set up the path manually right now here if we go back and say to the we know that node has been installed into the program files right so it was program files and then it was node.js right so here we have this node.exe now in case this particular location is not available in the environment variable then if we go to the command prompt okay and if say for example i am at the c drive okay and i say node hyphen v you will see I, it doesn't matter which location i am still it is recognized and the reason being that it is basically identified through the environment variable the global environment variable so how you can set up the environment variable in case it is not set up automatically right this is only optional case in case it is not working in your case so you simply have to go to the pc right click okay go to the properties on windows okay right click on the pc go to properties and then you will see advanced system settings and here you will see environment variables and if you see that this is the these are the user variables okay and then there are there is a system variable you will see the path variable okay so if you simply click on edit you will see by default c program files node.js location is added here okay and this has been added during the installation 
itself. Now, in case if this is not present here, when you try to run node commands, you will see that it is not recognized. Okay. In case you find that it is not recognizing the node command after installation, you have to simply check the environment variable, click on the new and put the location of the node.js installation wherever it has been installed. Okay. Wherever you have changed the location or if you have installed the default location, put that location here. Okay. And then simply click on OK. Okay. And then that should be it. Okay. So this is, this is one thing. Now here for the user variables as well, you will see that there is a path variable. So you can also do the same thing in the user variable. If you want to have a specific user variable, but if you do it in the system variable, by default, it will be recognized for all the systems or all the users on the system. Okay. So this is how you are going to do this on your windows machine in case the path is not added for the node installation. So this is the second step that we have done. We have installed node.js, right? Now the third thing is we have to install our preferred IDE. So we'll go ahead and install visual studio code because we'll be using visual studio code to write our test cases in Cypress. So I'll simply go to the Google. Okay. And I'll say visual studio code. Okay. So you'll see it has popped up and you'll see that we have the download option directly here. So I'll click on this. You simply go to code.visualstudio.com or search for visual studio code. You will easily get it right. It's not any rocket science. You'll see that I'm on the download page. Okay. And then download visual studio code, which is basically in my case, I'm on windows. So I'll download for windows. If you're on Linux or Mac, you download accordingly. Okay, I'll simply click on Windows and you'll see that it will automatically start downloading. So I'll simply go to the location where it has been downloaded. And in order to install it, we'll simply go ahead and double click on the exe file and follow the prompts here. Okay, so accept the license agreement, accept and simply click on next. Okay, you'll see that it will it is basically getting installed for a particular user here, right? So setup will install Visual Studio Code in the following folder. So if you're not happy with that, I'll simply go ahead and change this location. I want it into, it into the C drive. So I'll simply go back and I'll say, okay, don't I'll say in the C drive and let me create uh, you'll see that in, in C it says Microsoft VS code folder will automatically get created. Okay. So I've just selected C drive. So let me just keep it at as a C drive and within C it will create this folder and all the visual studio code will get installed within this particular folder. So I've changed it. I'll simply click on next and you'll see that select start menu folder. This is the folder. I'll keep it as default and then I'll say next. Okay. You can create a desktop icon. I don't want it. I'll simply leave it as is and then you'll see that add to path, right? So you'll see that it is by default checked. So you, I don't have to go to on Windows PC or uh, in the other uh, platforms. For example, if you simply during the installation wizard itself you'll say add to path then it will automatically add vs code into the path so you don't have to add it later okay i'll keep it default i'll click on next and then simply click on install so it is preparing to install and will go ahead and install the vs code on my computer okay so it is almost done so you'll see that it is completing the visual studio code setup wizard you can simply click on launch visual studio code and then it will go ahead and launch or if you don't want to launch you just keep it unchecked and click on finish okay so now we'll see that vs code has been installed if you go to the start menu you'll see that visual studio code and node.js are available on my windows machine which are recently added. okay so this is basically the second the third step right so we have installed the preferred id in this case for the this particular tutorial we'll be using visual studio code now these steps are the step one okay now in the next video we'll understand how you can go ahead and install Cypress and then we'll start creating the first project and first test case within Cypress. So that's all for this particular video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.